What up, world? It's your woman butterfly. Y'all, do I look tired? <laughs> I am. I just got off work. I'm so freaking happy to be sitting on this couch. Cuddling with a box of Girl Scout cookies. Hey. Yes. Feels so good. Um... So I'm sitting here chilling, and I was like, um, you know, scrolling, and I'm like, before I get too tired, I need to get on here and tell y'all more of my story so that I can bring y'all up to date because God is blessing me, y'all, and <laughs> the craziest stuff is happening. So, let me freaking continue some of this story. I believe that between this time and the next time, I should get to the end of the story. Or maybe one more time, I don't know. Okay, so, I was at the part when I was working at a club in Charlotte. Okay, and while I was in this club, all right, I was meeting people, all right, so, you know, when you're in the club and you're talking to people, it's like the same thing, same deal, same thing, I just go around repeating the same thing to the customers, right? Okay, but this one customer... Okay, by this time, Mr. Bad Romance was working at some club in Columbia, some disgusting club that's actually considered a brothel. And, and um, that's just where he was during this time. Um, I'm in the club, and this customer got my attention, okay? Um... It's just kind of weird because it's just weird. I mean, there's people that catch your eye in the club. And this guy, he did. He really did. Like, this guy's my ex-husband, y'all. And if you... Oh, shoot. What happened? I'm not sure what just happened, but I need y'all to see me. Okay, so I stumbled uh, upon this customer and I decided to start talking to him because he... My ex-husband has, like, this cute face he's really cute okay really handsome all right and um i later learned that he uses his looks against people like it's so freaking crazy y'all my marriage was crazy like he has this little cute face that will make everybody that will make people feel sorry for him that will you know it's just so crazy okay but when i when i begin to talk to this guy um, this guy, he was different from the other customers. He, he stood out because when he spoke, he spoke with substance. Okay. And I really like that. <clears throat> People that kind of know me, nobody really knows me because I'm always by myself. Nobody really knows me. All right. But people that kind of know me, they think that I married my ex-husband because he had money. But that was not why I married him. Okay. That was just like icing on the cake. All right. But um, the reason why I married him was because I'm sapiosexual. Even, even though I don't have all the education in the world, I still find like an intelligent man uh, attractive, okay, which is, which, well, in this case, it, it just didn't work out for me, because even though in the beginning, it was what attracted me to him, as time went on, it, it, it was like, kind of what tore us apart, because I wasn't as smart as him, so, hold on a second, so, and he knew that, of course, you know, um, hold on, what's going on with this okay so anyway 
yeah, as time went on, it would it it was oh he's so smart to man he's belittling me every single day you know what I mean um I dated him for about five months before we got married and during those five months you know he I mean you before you get married to someone okay it doesn't matter how good it might seem it's going you need to give it time if you want it to last. Because if it starts fast, it's going to end fast. And that's not that doesn't go for everyone. You know, I mean, there are some relationships that are like love at first sight, I guess, but it's very, very rare. And it's it's just dangerous. That's a leap of faith that you should not take because you don't really know who the heck you're getting married to. Okay? But during that five months, that's that's when he um, he just he was I I did I love my husband yes okay I still love him you know do I love Mr. Bad Romance yeah I love him too I wouldn't want to see anything happen to him was I in love with my husband no we were we were not in love with each other there's no way we could have been so okay so he was extremely uh, intelligent all right when it came to when it came to money and paperwork and that kind of stuff deeds and you know just the law he he, he was he, he was untouchable you couldn't touch him when it came to numbers and stuff like that it's like his brain was like a computer and I used to freaking love that Okay, I was so attracted to that, and I really felt like he was somebody that I could learn from. And I actually did learn a bit from him, but um, it just it just didn't last. I think our marriage lasted for about a year. Okay, so so I got married. All right, and it's it's just crazy because. When I got married, I felt like I was doing the right thing. I felt like I was taking a leap of faith because um, I just didn't want to be in the club anymore, especially since I was someone's wife now. Uh, and, you know, I just, I just don't know. I really don't know. But it really seemed like that after I got married, God wanted me to stay in my marriage because um, it was a cross. It was a cross that I was carrying. And what I mean by that is God sees what you're trying to do. You're not doing it right, but he sees that you don't want to do wrong anymore. And I could tell at times God wanted me to stay because it got to the point where I just wanted to leave because not only was my husband extremely intelligent, you know, so so me with the with the ninth grade education, GED in some college that I didn't finish, you know, and this guy has four degrees and you know, he's he's he was involved in masonry and all that and stuff. So he was like it was like, you know, the Masons, they be doing all kind of freaking stuff, all kind of rituals and stuff. I mean, there's different temples that do different things, but but all in all, it's it's worshiping the devil. And it's really bad because they're all around. And I used to, when I found out that he was, he was, he used to be involved in that stuff or was or whatever, I mean, I'm still not even clear about it because they say once you are one, you're always one or whatever. But um, he used to, like, drop the knowledge on me a little bit because he knew I was hungry for it. So he would, like, tell me sometimes and then, you know, take it back. And then he would tell me the craziest stuff sometimes. And I would be like, that makes freaking sense. Like, I, like... I remember one time we was at the beach and he told me that there were tunnels underneath the ocean water. Um, and it, I remember he told me something about 
Cain got his wife from inside of a cave and in, in like deep down in a cave there's holes that go down into the middle of the earth and the middle of the earth is where hell is and even in, in the school books they tell you that it's just lava down there but it's actually the river of 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 fire the lake of fire and that just it just I just used to want him to keep telling me that stuff so I mean we used to like talk about that stuff together but he would like you know when you do that masonry stuff they it's like at the very top you find out that the devil has tricked you like I remember one time we went to the flea market and there was this guy and he had this jacket on and my ex-husband was like mm, 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 mm. see that guy right there see that guy that guy he's going straight to hell and I was like why why is he going to hell because he got that jacket on he has it was some Illuminati masonry jacket and I was like you know I just felt like God was trying to give me some knowledge and and I was happy on that side but when it came to him belittling belittling me and it was like it was like Lucifer okay my my ex-husband there's if you're not completely surrendered to God you can be possessed by the devil sometimes my ex-husband will say something and then be like like he didn't mean to say it you know what I mean it was just so crazy it was like being married to Lucifer dead serious y'all it was just absolutely crazy but um he began to push me away like with the narcissist because he was a narcissist also okay a narcissist is so hard to love because it's like it's like they're like a dog and they got this cone around their head and it's like they can't see nothing but them you know so it's like me 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 you know they hardly had any regards for your feelings so it's like it's they're usually alone right so when he would do things that would bother me instead of you know even trying to stop he would just give some excuse of why he's going to keep doing it you know all the all of the um all of the characteristics of a narcissist um and back then i truly didn't understand and i took it personal and i was like i just felt really really unwanted and it's just crazy because I feel like he needed a wife and he wanted one, but he just didn't know how to treat her, I guess. I, I don't know. He even apologized to me for being a jerk, but by that time it was just too late. And while we were married, maybe, maybe within... I would say within three and a half months of our marriage, Mr. Barrow had started to reach out to me on 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 um social media. Okay, so so now here I am, a woman that is married to a guy that she doesn't really know that well. A guy that she thinks she knows that well is on the other end. And he's saying things like, Why'd you get married? What who is that guy? Like, do you know that guy? Why you have him around your daughter? You know, and it's like, Mr. Bad Romance couldn't get me to budge because I was like, no, I've been asking you for so long and I'm married now, so you're going to have to leave me alone, right? But when the devil is, youth, is, is trying to get you to move, okay, or, or sin, and if he can't get you with, one mass he's gonna put on another mass he doesn't go to sleep he doesn't stop trying he's going to keep trying so your husband my husband was getting worse it's just it just you know I started to hear that he was lying about stuff from the neighbors and and really in the beginning before we got married he was just lied through his freaking teeth right to my face because he knew I wasn't smart enough to to know that he was 
he was lying, right? But God still wanted me to stay put. Even when I was when I was married, God gave me my daughter, okay? Because because she was in Augusta and her dad was like I'm going to go ahead and let her go up there and stay with her mom and her her new stepdad, right? So, you know, everything was was good. It was me, him, his son, and my daughter. And I believe that if I would have carried that cross, God would have blessed me. But I just could not do it. And I was just so unhappy every single day. Okay, so I'm not going to go into great detail about what happened. But let's just say that Mr. Bad Romance put on a... Since he couldn't get me to to come see him or, you know, come to the club or all this stuff. Since he couldn't get me to do that, he just stopped reaching out to me for a minute. And right when he stopped reaching out to me, okay, another guy that I used to be interested in started to reach out to me. And I don't even know how he got my email, right? But it was like one of the bouncers that was working at Onyx. And by this time, my ex-husband was saying things to me like, um, you know, what What would you, I remember one time he said, what What would you do if you're, if, what are you going to do? You don't have nothing saved up. He was like, what if, what, what if your, what if your husband trades you in for a newer model? Like, what are you going to do with yourself? Like, what about your future? You know, if I feel like if you're married to somebody and you 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 have plans on being with them, you would never say anything like that to someone. Okay, so it was just like every single day, the devil was just hacking and hacking and hacking away, and it, it literally was him, right? Just to get me to 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 just to get me in his arms. Okay, so. I decided that I was gonna run away and I did run away but when the devil got me out there he I almost got stranded in Virginia trying to run out there with the devil okay and I remember I was so so I just felt really bad I felt like I'd been tricked I felt like you know I just I just wasn't a good wife because I wasn't I'm not here to say I was a perfect wife. You know, me and my ex-husband, we just we just were not a good couple because for one, we didn't we didn't take the time to get to know each other that well. Like me, I'm the kind of person that well, I was the kind of person that didn't want didn't like to be wrong about anything. You know, and my ex-husband was the type of person that when he's right about something, he will get in your face and let you know that he's right. I remember one time my stepson there was this older child that was coming in our yard and he wanted to play with my stepson and and I was like I thought I saw no harm in it especially since when I was younger I had older friends that were that really protected me sometimes when when things would happen my my ex-husband was like I don't want that older kid out here I don't want him out here I don't want him out here and I didn't see no harm in it so we were in the house going back and forth about it because we went back and forth about a lot of things. It was so annoying, right? But I think it was like a day later, the older kid was trying to get my stepson to crawl in people's windows and break in their houses. So my husband was right, right? And and he was just like, I told you, I told you, I, to I told you so, I told you so, I told you, you know? And it's like, you know, one, two, I told you so's. Okay, that's, I hear you. You were right. Okay, get the kid out the yard. But 50 freaking I told you so's and then belittling me and all this stuff and telling me to don't tell you how to raise your kid and all this crap when I'm here to help. <sighs> okay, so I ran away once to Virginia and that was really horrible. It was a very demonic. Uh, I just wanted a divorce. You know, but but I wasn't stable, and I, I really thought that I was gonna run away and go back to the club, but that's not what happened at all. Okay, um, I ended up having to come back to my ex-husband, and thank 
God, that didn't even let me come back. But, but the reason why I ran away was because of the devil in him, okay, which is in him very strong, okay, and it's just crazy, y'all. Y'all better be careful about who you who you let sweep you off your feet because some people are trying to sweep you off your feet literally to the point where you cannot get away or you don't have your own or you just need to be careful okay so when I came back from Virginia I really thought that everything was going to be okay but it just turned out to be the same thing and I just ended up wanting to run away again so you know, it got to the point where my ex-husband was letting me use his car to go to the club, you know, and and if you really love your wife or if, if you know, that, that just come on now, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you really want your family to be together, be together not only would you, you know, um, make her comfortable, you know, or or make her feel wanted, or have some type of regard for her feelings, so that she won't want to run away. But to give me your car, to go to the club and dance, to try to make money, to because he was always about money, like money, 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 right? And I think that in his mind, he was thinking, let me see if she's gonna be able to make some money to even get herself out this situation, right? So that's when I just really didn't care anymore. And also, that's when Mr. Bad Romance really started to reach out to me. And he was like, um, I'll tell y'all in the next episode because this video's getting long, so. And plus it's just so annoying to talk about this. And I'm tired. I'm gonna eat my cookies. And um, yeah, it's probably going to take like two more episodes to get through this story because the devil is freaking so freaking busy. And I'm just telling y'all what he did to me. All right. See y'all in the next episode, babies. Love y'all. Bye.